guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, what's up? My name is Lisa. Make sure you subscribe to join a little family. So, I bought a new camera. Do you guys notice a difference? You should. I'm pretty sure this quality is way better. The viewfinder is on this side now instead of on the top. So, I need to work extra hard on looking into the lens. It's going to be really hard. But, today I'm doing kind of like an updated everyday makeup. But, I also included what I do for my hair every day when I'm wearing wigs. So, I thought it would be fun to combine that into one video. And the hair I'm wearing is from Jiru or Yiru Hair. I will have the links down below. Um, absolutely love 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 this hair this is like my kind of like my signature type of wig just very simple sleek straight in my other everyday makeup video people were like why does she wear so much makeup every day or like whatever I don't wear makeup every day first of all and second of all this is like my everyday full face makeup um, some days I wear less some days I don't wear makeup but I just want to point it out and tell you that so if you want to know how I created this look and how I did my hair then just keep on watching I've already went ahead and done my brows the reason for this is because I want to do an updated eyebrow like how I do my eyebrows video let me know if you want to see that comment down below and leave a thumbs up now I'm just going to fix my hair I'm really sorry if I keep looking in the viewfinder I'm gonna have to get used to the fact that it's not at the top and it's on the side i'm going to start with my hair because whenever i wash my face at night water gets on my wig and so it kind of comes loose also ignore the fact that these hairs are kind of blonde i didn't do the best job bleaching the knots of this hair but i tried i just accidentally made my bleach a little too thin and i didn't have any more bleaching powder left so i just had to deal with it as you can see the hair is a little loose there so i'm going to use some of my got to be glue and i'm just going to apply it wherever i need the lace to stick down i just kind of press it down this hair is by jiru i think that's how you pronounce it jiru hair i think it's their malaysian straight the longest bundle was 22 inches i absolutely love this wig basically what i did was i bleached the knots on the frontal and it turned out really well i love love this hair i was actually gonna dye jet black but after i made the wig i was like wait no i actually like the way it looks now i don't really feel like dyeing it i cut off like a tiny bit of the ends of the hair because it was a little thin but it wasn't anything crazy and this is like an everyday type of wig for me and then i like to sorry if i'm looking in the viewfinder i like to take a little bit of hair literally the tiniest bit i kind of go into the parting and the hair that comes out is literally this i use my black got to be glue but right now i have it in a little container from when i was traveling um, and I take a little toothbrush and the black got to be glue is clear which I prefer for laying down baby hairs because it won't leave the white residue but I don't necessarily go in and like cut baby hairs like I just do with a long piece of hair literally just like that and I just kind of leave it so it can dry and that creates a little baby hair by the parting right there and i think it looks really nice now that i don't have the like smoothing effect on my skin you can actually see that my skin isn't perfect and i have like discoloration and like um acne scars and stuff like that for my primer i use the Too faced hangover rx and i just take one pump of this to my fingers and put this all over my face smells like cookies almost okay so after that because i have oily skin i like to bake my primer a lot of people ask me why i do this and the reason why is because i have oily skin so i have a mixture of my rcma no color powder and my city color banana powder in this little container and it's basically like a super light banana powder so i just press this into my skin really pushing it into the pores and making sure you also don't move with that primer and you really just lock it down you want to do this on the areas that are most oily for you and if you don't have oily skin you can skip this my nose is the most oily and then also my forehead can get quite oily like in between my brows and then it looks like you snorted coke so that's cute i always usually let this sit and then do my brows but since i've already done my brows i'm not gonna let this sit for too long so i'm gonna wipe it off with a brush now and then for foundation, I'm mixing these two, which is the Kat Von D Locket foundation and the NYX Total Control. I feel like this one is a tiny bit light for me, but mixing the two, I can make it work. And yeah, the reason why I love mixing these is because the NYX foundation is super watery. 
which you can see right there it's like so liquidy and then the Kat Von D foundation is a lot thicker but they both give amazing coverage and I feel like the Kat Von D feels a little too heavy on my face and the next one sometimes it just feels like there's nothing on my face so I feel like mixing the two is just perfect I'm using my damn Real Techniques beauty sponge to blend this out. A lot of people actually ask me how I keep my foundation from going cakey, especially because, you know, since my skin is oily, I use a lot of powders and stuff and I bake my primer. So, really, it's just using a damn beauty sponge because um, it soaks up the excess product and excess foundation like it just takes off whatever is usually sitting on top of your skin and also of course setting after I finish my makeup but you will see that later on I'm just going to very carefully blend this around my hairline and then I blend it onto my eyes I look crazy because my last extensions are like falling out now and I'm not getting a fill anymore, so I have like no lashes and my eyes look bald. Now I'm going to go in with concealer and I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape in medium. I love brightening underneath my eyes, so I always use like a super light concealer. Especially since I don't sleep, so I try to make it as bright as possible. Put some on my forehead and some on my cubic bow. And I'm blending this out with the flat side of my beauty sponge. I always start on my face and then I go under my eyes because um, if you let your under eye concealer sit for a little bit it's going to give you a bit more coverage this is a good tip if you feel like your concealer is a bit too light or it's very watery if you wanted to give a bit more coverage then leave it to sit for like a little bit just like go around your face first I learned to sit from Jackie Ina so I still use the same setting powders that I used in my other everyday makeup video because I just love these. For underneath my eyes, I always use the NYX HD powder in banana. This is the perfect powder for underneath my eyes. I can go in with baking powder right away because if you do that, I get this weird like dark discoloration under my eyes. I've tried it with multiple concealers. For some reason, it just does not work for me. If you experience that same problem, then I suggest trying this out. I'm actually going to take a little bit of the foundation I have left over and putting it on here because I have quite a lot of discoloration around my mouth and it really bothers me, so I want to cover that up a bit more. And I don't like color correcting because I feel like it makes my foundation orange. I always go back in, make sure it's blended, and then just putting that on there. And then I take it down my nose a little bit and then back up here. And now I'm going to set my face and I use the pure, what's it called, mattifying powder? Shine control powder. Um, again, I've been using this for so long. It's just a translucent powder. It doesn't add any color. It just mattifies and sets. And I just kind of put this on the middle of my face, like around my nose, of course. Then in between my eyebrows and my forehead and then a little bit around my mouth. Now I look very washed out and kind of like very light. So we're gonna bring back the color to my face. First, I'm going to contour my nose, which I recently have just been loving using my Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer for this. I feel like right now I don't really have a set way of contouring my nose. I don't really like how I'm contouring it, so I don't really know what to do about it. Like I just don't know how to contour my nose anymore. Just kind of doing whatever. Go in with a brush and blend it out a bit. I bake underneath my eyes and then I also bake my smile lines. That's about it. I don't bake anything else. And then around my mouth because I always have really bad smile lines. Even though like after baking I still get them. I feel like it helps a little bit so... Now I look crazy. I like to kind of sculpt out my face using the LA Girl Pro Face Powder in Toffee. Taking it on a little angled brush and just sculpting on my cheekbones. 
I'm not necessarily using it to bronze, I'm just using it to contour because it's quite a cool toned powder. Bit under my lip. To my forehead. I don't really have a big forehead, so I don't really have to like contour necessarily, but I like to warm it up a bit. And I take it down my neck. I'm just going to wipe away fake. So now I'm going to bronze my face. Currently, I've been loving the Makeup Geek Tawny Medium Skin Bronzer. And I'm just going to take this on a little like stippling dual fiber brush. I take this onto my nose as well. I like bronzing up my nose underneath my lip, jaw. Oh my god, there's hair all in my face. I want to bring a little bit of color to my face, so I'm using my Zoeva Coral Spectrum blush palette. I'm just gonna take this pink color. I'm taking it on a really big, fluffy brush. I'm just putting this on the apples of my cheeks, and I kind of run it like right here. So this is the moment that I like to spray my face um, to set down the powders and then I'm going to apply my highlight. So I take my Marbidescu Rose Water Spray, this is pretty much my favorite. I do want to try out some more like actual makeup setting sprays because I know this isn't an actual makeup setting spray. So if you have any suggestions, leave them down below. Um, yeah. The highlighter I'm using today is my Laura Geller Gilded Honey. This one is so beautiful, you see that? I'm just sneeze. <laughs> I just spat all over my boobs. And then I take it on my pinky and I run it down the bridge of my nose. And then the tip of my nose. Then I also like bring it on the sides of my nose, like the little side right here. I'm gonna go in with that LA Girl face powder again that I used to contour. And I'm just using a really big fluffy brush. I'm not gonna be precise. I'm literally just kind of blending this on top of my lid. So not just in the crease, like I'm putting it pretty much all over. Then I just take a smaller brush and bring this down underneath my eyes. Now I do like highlighting my inner corner and I recently got this Stila Magnificent Metal, right? I think it's called Magnificent Metal. It's like their liquid eyeshadow and this is Nicole Kitten. I feel like everyone has this one. So I'm just going to put a tiny dot on my inner corner right there and then blend this out. Now I'm going to be putting on falsies because as you can see, I have no lashes left. I think we're going to put on the lashes that I always wear that I get from AliExpress. I will leave a link to these down below. They're extremely cheap. They come in like a pack of five, I think. I just had to literally like import the videos I just recorded onto my laptop. Reformat my SD card because I forgot to do that. So there was like no space. But I've went ahead and put on my lashes. This lash is a little... It's a little wonky. For my lips, I recently got this Tarte lip paint. But it's a little too cool toned, so I have to wear this on top of a lipstick. But I thought I'd mix this with my NYX Praline, which is pretty much my everyday lip gloss. I love this one so much. All I kind of have to do is straighten the hair a little bit because it got a little bit wavy. Yo, this wig is so nice. I love it so much. This is like, this is like me. Like this hair is me. I love doing like blonde and curly and different stuff, but just simple straight down. It's just me. So yeah, I'm going to leave all the information to this hair down below. Go check it out if you want. I literally stopped recording and then I realized that we got to do my little beauty spots. I already put away my mirror, so I use a bobby pin. I take off the little ball because I lost my little wooden thingy. And then I have this LA Girl Pro Concealer Mahogany. You'll see the intro and outro is without this because... Mm. Don't know if that looks good at all. I can't even see it in my viewfinder. Hope it looks good. I don't know. I'm just gonna like quickly put this in because like 
I totally forgot to do this, but I do this like all the time. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. And of course, subscribe. Leave any video suggestions down below that you want to see from me. And if you're wondering about what camera I'm using, I will try to remember to put the name and everything in my description from now on so people can stop asking. If you want to keep up with me besides my videos, I will have my social media link down below. Go ahead and follow me. If you want to talk to me, send me a DM so we can chat because um, I love talking to you guys. I love you and I will see you in my next video.